Hey everybody, Steve Houston. Welcome back to my channel again. We're talking about the top comp, top comp competition wars. This video is about top comp, no BS. Because for so long in this industry, um, and there's still a lot of it out there for sure. And I believe people today have got so much BS from recruiters and IMOs that they just want the truth. Give me whatever the truth is. Allow me to make an educated decision as to where it's best for me to be and what I'm looking for in a program that will help me be successful in this industry. One of the reasons why we had so much turn and burn in this industry is that right there, is the market is flooded with these MLM network marketing type recruiters who have this motto of some will, some won't, so what? Recruit in mass and throw a bunch of people on against the wall and the ones that will stick, I can make a living off of for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And as a result, so many people get turned out of this industry, basically broke, bought a bunch of leads, never really made any money because once they signed up, the upline, for lack of better words, went MIA. So, um, and that's the problem that we have here. So. Uh, most of you know that we're in the middle of a move. We're going back to a, a, we're buying a new home in Florida. I've always been going back and forth to California and Florida. We'll still maintain an office in California, but we'll be going back to Florida really much on a full-time basis uh, here by the end of August. So we've got a lot going on during this 90-day run that we have, which is the top comp. This is the first video that you have seen. You need to go back to the playlist Top Conversation or Write Your Own Contract, I think is the name of the playlist, and watch the series of videos I've done over the last 10 days because we are really in historic times right now where we have the opportunity to get started at a certain contract rate or commission rate. It doesn't necessarily always equal commission rate. I'll try to be fully transparent on this channel. Contract rate isn't exactly commission rate on all products. So be careful of that word salad when you're talking to recruiters as well. Um, uh, the, the, two, the, the two are not the same, okay? So you want to make sure that you understand clearly what that's all about. So, uh, but again, the BS is industry. We are in really historic times right now of being able to come into the industry at a certain level and whatever you can conceive, in other words, whatever you're willing to do, whatever you're willing to, to uh, because here's the thing. You know, I, I've had this in my life a lot too, where, you know, somebody walk up and say, hey, you want to make a million dollars? Of course I want to make a million dollars. Well, you're going to have to work seven days a week. You're going to have to put your family on the side. You're going to do nothing else, you know, recreational. You got to be focused 24 seven on business for one, two, three, four. Look, folks, I've been sold that bill of goods my entire life. You know, I've heard that three to five years crap for since I was 19 years old from all these MLM companies out there. So, you know, if you work really hard for three to five years, then you can retire forever. It's a pile of crap for the, for the most part, okay? Uh, so, yes, you need to have, um, there's a period of time where we all need to compress time frames and give it a 90-day run, you know, mul maybe string multiple 90-day runs together to create a, maybe a one or two year really uh, of, of focused attention, but uh, be careful buying into that nonsense and you're willing to give up everything that uh, in terms of work-life balance, your family, um, those type of things in pursuit of something that you're not guaranteed is gonna happen. So you've gotta make sure that whatever you decide that you're gonna run after, uh, you're willing to make the sacrifices for it. If you are, then great, but you know, anyway, uh, we got 90 days here to come in at a certain contract rate and whatever we can conceive. So if we want, if we really believe we can do 20 applications a month or issue pay 20 uh, applications, underwrite 20 applications, protect 20 families. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it because the average application is a thousand bucks. So 20 would be about 20,000. You can be at hundred percent. You can be at 105, 110, 115, 120, all up to 140. And, you know, as I'm telling my team, run hard for that first 30 days, set the bar as high as you can possibly set it. And then the next ten, two months, you've got, you built some momentum because that issue paid business that you wrote in June or that business you wrote in June will issue pay in July. And maybe you can hit another bar between now and the end of August. So, um, but again, I don't care where you're at. It's, you know, high, high comp is not a, a, a package. There, there's people that, have, that are in this industry that call me all the time. You know, I got 140, I got 145, right, but you have no lead program, you have no support, you have no training. There are three things in this business you need, and that is support, training, and leads, right? Period. Quality leads. 
I'm talking about not, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about getting a piece of paper, you know, a third party vendor list, and you got to go call the vendors and, and work out, a, a, you know, a cost and, you know, lead distribution for yourself. I'm talking about an in house, IMO owned, quality direct mail program, and there are very few of those out there with the exception of ours. And you want to be able to work direct mail leads, they are the better quality leads. Doesn't mean you can't work digital leads. Doesn't mean you can't work aged leads. You could, you can, and you should. Because again, the older the lead, the cheaper the lead. Now, you, you understand when you're starting out, you want to work those cheaper leads because there's like training wheels. You're learning. It's important to protect your cash flow in this business. Let me say it again. It's important to protect your cash flow in this business. What's not important is you buy into well, you go spend three thousand bucks a week or three thousand bucks a month or 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 a thousand bucks a week on leads right out of the gate. That is that is that is word salad. Okay, we're not in the lead selling business. We're in the insurance selling business. And what I mean by that, I like to use a ten percent rule. Get in, set your budget up for your leads for maybe uh, you know a hundred to two fifty a week, whatever it is. Okay, the more the better. Whatever you can can afford to do, the important thing is to get fresh leads every single week, okay? Anyways, and then cash flow your business. That 10% rule I'm talking about is, when I make a thousand bucks, I put a hundred back into my lead program. That's the way I've always done it, that's the way I, I like to do it, and that's how I teach my agents to do it. But I can tell, listen, by the questions that I'm getting, many of you still don't understand how powerfully historic this time is. Again. Let me repeat, you can come in and pick your own contract rate by doing nothing more than, you know, look, if you want to call it average, you can call it average. The average application in the industry is a thousand bucks. So if you can do 20 a month, that's 20,000. 30 a month, 30,000. 40 a month, 40,000. If you do 40, 40 in one month, there's no month to month qualifier. So if you do 40, you've now raised yourself to the highest comp in the industry forever. There, you cannot go back. You don't have production standards. So once you're given a contract rate, you keep it until you achieve the next contract rate. That's why I said, whatever you can conceive and achieve, you will receive. No BS, no upline approval, no kissing up to get what you rightfully earned, right? So for example, you come in here, you start at 90%, you do part-time effort, which again is what I think about five, protecting five families a week is, right? And out of that three months, you hit you you do you twenty thousand dollars a month. You've now raised yourself to the 100 105 percent contract rate, right? You protect five families per week with not having to perform a lifetime achievement to do it, but just do the average of a thousand dollars per app. Do five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, whatever it is a month, and you'll be able to advance to the highest contract rate that you are willing to go out there and earn. Right? Again, it was one thing to say, I want 145, I want 150, I want 155. But, you know, very few, few of us are going to go out there and do 50, 60, $70,000 a month. So, in issue paid business. So, pick what you're willing to work for, go out there, do it, and give yourself a lifetime pay increase. I was talking to my team last night on the team call, and I said, you know, if you just go from 70% to, to 100%, that's 30% additional income. So instead of making 700, you're going to make 1,000 per app. So if you're doing 20 a month, right? $300 more an app, that's $6,000 a, a, a month, $36,000 a year, right? Who can go out there and get a $30,000 a year pay raise at any given moment based on nothing more than your own efforts? No one else has any control over it. You own your business. You own your income, right? And again, it's a pay increase that lasts forever. No going back once you once you get promoted, you know, and, and maybe just doing one app a year or one app a month, you still hold that contract level. No need to uh, uh, to ever to ever go back until your next promotion and you can go forward, right? Again, it's all in writing, it's zero BS, right? And you've got 90 days to do all you can to get all the way up to 140% plus, right? After the 90 days, again, this is a question that's been coming up, you'll still have the same comp. The difference is, is that agents that come in in October or whatever it is, won't be able to leapfrog levels so you'll, it'll be either a one or two month qualifier. Either you'll need to hold, hold that production for one or two months in order to get promoted. Here, 
and then for every level. And here now, you if you if you come in at seven, you can leapfrog to a hundred. Right? Very important with our uh, in writing. By the way, for those out there that want to talk about if it ain't right and it ain't true, that's a fact. Actually, it's a very accurate statement. Ours is in writing, right? And our agents profit sharing and equity bonus paid monthly, which effectively moves you up to 155, 160 plus top comp is in writing. We're currently paying it out and have been paying it out for well over a year. Nowhere in the industry can you get higher comp, right? But that's, look, that's just part of the package. It's everything else. It's top carriers, top products, lead program that the IMO owns, so they co-op the leads. It's those type of things. Now there really is only one IMO that provides you everything that you need to succeed as an agent. All free. All free. All free. I hear this all the time. I got to join a membership program or how much you charge for onboarding, how much you charge for the, your back office CRM, how much you, we do charge for leads, but you're not required to buy our leads. They're the best quality in the industry. But again, our job is to give you the tools necessary to succeed in the industry, period. It's not to run your business. You're in business for yourself. And as long as you're doing things legally and ethical, We'll support you at whatever level you choose to be. And again, our partnership part of that is, is that we provide those tools that you can operate your business on for free, plus the highest comp in the industry. Really, it's a game changer, okay? No one else, unless they're lying, has the same options. And you can talk to all the other ones out there on YouTube if you want to. Uh, you know, I know many of them, talk to a lot of them, and uh, they're not offering this, okay? So um, again, a complete business in a box. So what does that mean? It means world-class technology. It means industry-leading, in-house, direct mail, exclusive lead program. It means top carriers, right? You don't want one or two. I, I get this question a lot. People say, well, you know, I, I want to work just final expense. Why would you want to work just final expense? I'm guessing you talked to somebody on YouTube here that talks about, uh, you know, you should only do final expense and mortgage protection is, is a bunch of crap and whatever, okay? Okay, that's word salad. You know why they're saying that? Because that's all they offer is, is final expense options or final expense products. We're in the financial services industry, and if you want to be uh, maximize your profitability, you want to sell term life, whole life, you want to provide solutions for a mortgage section, final expense. You also want to have annuities because right now baby boomers are retiring and they're moving their money from the 401k to save money accounts, right? So you want to have annuities. You also want to have advanced retirement solutions like IULs, college funding, right? Those type of things. You're in, otherwise you're, buy, you're in one-off sales. You buy a lead, you go sell it, you know, that lead uh, mortgage section or a final expense and you're done, you're on to the next lead. And we have those people here and it's not how I run my business. And I wouldn't recommend that you run your business that way either, right? You want to be able to service that lead. You paid for it, right? So you want to be able to service that lead for the life of that, of that client and their kids and their grandkids. So uh, you want to have a lot of carriers so you don't walk away from any business. I'm talking about fully underwritten where you got to stick your arm, a needle in the arm. Okay, I'm talking about fully underwritten, where you got to send the the, uh, the paramed out to the house. I'm talking about non-med, which is our uh, niche in the industry. That should be about 80% of your business. And then I'm talking about guaranteed issues. So you have to have a lot of carriers so you can match their medical conditions, their age, and their budget, and get that family protected. So top carriers with top products. You also want to have integrity-based leadership. Focus on giving those tools that you need to succeed in selling life insurance and financial products. Focusing on those skills, right? Focusing on developing those skills and continue to, to provide you know, new uh, tools. Update the technology. We just did a major update on our technology last week, right? Several million dollars invested in our technology platform. Free to you as the agent. Right? Not focusing on fancy cars, Rolex watches, partying every Friday night, blowing money out your rear. You know, uh, that's great when you're 20, 25 years old, I suppose. But at the end of the day, um, that's not what we're here for. We're here to protect families, make a lot of money, invest it properly, and set our families up 
for a lifetime of generational wealth. That's what I'm here for. Plus, you got the world-class IMO, you got the world-class tools, products, carriers, and those type of things. Plus, what I, what I call, and I often have on this, on this channel, a game changer, which is really this is the, the gold standard, in my, in my mind, in the industry. Ground level support, day to day, case by case, every single day, before, during, and after your appointment with your clients. I'm talking about when you're in the home, you're an inch thick, a mile wide, you can call us and we'll get on the phone with you and your client to find the best option for them and get them to the application, get the application written, get them covered, get you paid in every single situation, night and day, seven days a week. That's, the, that's what we provide, okay? We also help you with product selection because again, you gotta get good at three things. I told you when you're looking for an IMO or you're looking for a place to hang your license, you need what? Good leads, good support, good training. The IMOs are there to provide you with training and some support, but they got 10, 15, 20,000 agents. They're not going to be there to, for you to call when you're in the house. That comes from whoever you signed up with. That's why it's so important to be with somebody that's leading from the front, right? Right, that's setting the example. They're not reading out of some, you know, some book here about you know how to how to build an agency. As I see it all over YouTube, you know how to sign up for this. We'll teach you how to build an agency. I'll tell you how you build an agency. You go out there, you leave from the front, you put your name on an application, and you set the example for your team. That's how you build an agency. Not because you want to train them. We'll do that heavy lifting for you. In other words, we'll train you. We'll provide that support and training to you as well as to your agents so that you can focus on what I call the IPAs, which are income-producing activities, period, which are selling insurance, supporting your family, right? Hitting the highest level you can hit within that 90 days and finding people to sell insurance and I'll go and hit those uh, those numbers for the first 90 days or whatever it is, right? Those are things that will make you money and give you long-term financial security. Not sitting on the side of the road trying to help an agent enter an application in the back office. That's not going to help you make money. Okay, we'll do that for you. That's why I say it's it's the gold standard. Uh, that's that's what that's what someone signing you up should be doing for you. Okay, that's their that's the value they bring to the relationship. It's not about having a having a ten minute conversation with somebody. What, so what does that mean day to day? It means we're going to help you with compressing the learning curve on being successful and, uh, and, you know, and owning the skills that will last you a lifetime to teach you to think like an underwriter, right? So you own your income, not your upline, not your IMO. You can go anywhere in this industry, go in any town in this country, go to a hotel, grab some leads locally, and in 24 to 48 hours, you're making sales, and within three or four days, you got money in your bank. No one can ever derail your finances or your life, because i got news for you. If you're broke, your quality of life also goes down. You know, you know the, the puppet on a string, right? That's what happens when you're working for somebody else. You're so fearful of losing your job, because if you lose your job, your whole world turns, up, turns upside down. Well, you don't have to be in that situation in this industry. We're generating 10, 15,000 leads a day right now. So if you'll hang with us for 90 days, we'll turn you into a, a field underwriter so you can go anywhere and make a living. Forever. Life insurance is not going to go away. People are having babies every single day, right? It's very, very good right now. That, as I said before, the tea and timing is far more important than tea and talent. We'll t give you the talent. But the timing is right now. And so now is the opportunity to come in here, set the bar, set your commission rate, learn the skills along the way, right? And that's why that support is so important because you're starting out with all these products. Each, you know, have 25, 30 different, different companies out there with all the different products. You're about an inch thick and a mile wide with product knowledge. The very first thing they throw, they throw at you in you know, some sort of a, a, a medicine they're taking is going to throw you, which is why you need to have that day-to-day -day support. You and your team need to have that support. And if you're building an agency right now and you're doing that for your team, good luck. Because what happens is there's no money early on in recruiting. You gotta, it takes time to build an agency and get those agents producing income so that you get paid your overrides or your finder's fees, whatever you want to call it, from the, uh, from the carriers because you get paid based on the, the amount of distribution that you bring into those carriers. So if you're sitting there training them, guess what's happening? You're not making any money because they're not making any sales or training. And you're not making any money because you're too busy training to go out and write some insurance yourself to support your family, which is what we do here.
We sell insurance. We protect families. So having that agency that has a phenomenal 15-step training orientation period and then that day-to-day -day support and to train your agents for you. So you focus on two things, selling insurance and finding people to sell insurance is priceless. You know why I know it's priceless? Because I was in that situation before trying to build an agency and support my family and I was going broke with the admin responsibilities and no one was selling yet because everybody was new and we weren't making any money. So that's why we had that program here. We consider our, our agents uh, to be uh, our partners and we gauge our success by their success. It's not, this is the problem I have with the industry. It's not for us to make money off you because we had a 10 minute conversation with you and signed you up. First of all, I don't think I've ever had a 10 minute conversation with anybody that, that has joined our agency, ever. It's usually an hour to an hour and a half because it's a partnership. And guess what happens in a partnership? Massive communication is required, right? The only way you can transfer knowledge is through communication and a lot of it, right? So here's the bottom line. You're either working hard for your own business or you're working hard for somebody else's business, as I said before. And you need to own your income and not rent it, which means you need to own those skills, right? And every day you and I get to make that choice with our focus and our activity, right? Every day we get up. This business is not always easy. Sometimes it's difficult. And we make a choice. I made a choice for 40 years to stay in and around this industry, right? Because I believe in residual income. I believe in the lifestyle that it creates. I love helping people. I like what we do. Okay, what we do does matter. So we all know what we're up against. I've shared this up before in a video and I thought I'd throw these numbers in, in here again just as a reminder as to why when someone is handing you, uh, you know, a shot to go out there and create generational wealth, we all have to kind of figure out, do we, you know, is that something we are willing to do? Are we willing to, to do the work necessary and put ourselves in a position to become multi-millionaires in two to four years. Again, remember I said that earlier, three to five years come in, right? So you've got to figure out, am I willing to do that? And maybe be slightly out of balance for a while, right? In order to, to run after something that's life-changing or could be life-changing. Along the way, make a very, very good living. And I'm telling you, you don't have to do that. You can come in here and make two, three, 100, 200, 300, $400,000 a year working barely uh, full-time hours. Okay, if you put the same amount of effort that you put in that job here, you'd make multiple six figures. You don't have to go build an agency. You have to do what you consider work-life balance, do it around your family. But here's the thing. When I was confronted with this option several months ago, the, with the uh, being able to build something that I could later sell and, and get rewarded for the distribution that I'm, that I'm bringing to the table, but it would require us to really work hard. Maybe it's slightly out of our comfort zone for one to two years. I had to look at it because we could continue to do what we're doing every single day here and, and make multiples, you know, six figures. But to hit that million dollars a year plus, we're going to have to dig back in. And I had to confront myself. It really was difficult. I had to, I, we took a trip to Florida and took a walk on the beach and talked about it, Angela and I did. And, and uh, I finally just, said to myself, well, Steve, you don't, you don't have a choice. You don't, you don't have an option, okay? Someone's giving you a shot to become a multimillionaire, partner with the largest insurance distributor in the nation, in the world most likely, and have a chance, a shot, at, at uh, being able to uh, create generational wealth for you and your family. I can't go to my family and say, you know, I worked all my life to have that chance. And I said, no, when, when the chance came. I can't do that. So we're in. We're all in. We're doing it for our family. We're going to put some things on, aside. Not our entire lives on the side, but some things on, on the side. In the time being, to go out and find people that want to create generational wealth. If you look at the stats, they're ugly. Out of 100 people that start working when they turn age 25, when they turn 65, 1% are wealthy, which means they have... $5.7 million net worth, 4% adequate income for retirement, meaning they have enough capital to take care of themselves and their families. 3% are still working. 63% folks are still dependent on social security, government, friends, family, and everyone else for their existence. The other 29% are dead. Now that's doing it the American way, meaning you go to school, do the best you can, go to college, 
right? So you, you get out in the world, become a doctor or a lawyer or whatever it is you want to do. But the bottom line is, out of all those people, including those statistics from the U.S. Department of Labor and Statistics, out of 100 that started to work at age 25 and they worked at 50-50-50 plan, at age 65, only five people had enough to retire. What are your chances? So again, unfortunately, you have to ask yourself, when given a shot, will you take it? We are hiring people that are looking for the same things in life that we are looking for, which is financial freedom. Freedom and financial independence through business ownership. So now, I put it out there. You are being offered on this video today a shot. A shot to come in here and make multiple six figures and seven figures and have a chance, a shot to create generational wealth if we're good enough to get it done. And change the direction of you and your family's financial future forever. But let me be real with you. I know broke and I can relate to those of you who may be watching this video right now that are struggling. These are really, really historic times, okay? And I'm going to share something here at the end, but I just want you to know that if this is something that you're interested in, and for those of you who are doing the production, but your upline can or won't promote you since you'd be at a higher contract than he is, it's called contract compression, you should stop watching this video and call me or text me, right? Since we don't have that here, your upline cannot hold you back. If you earn it, you get it. And you can pass them. So you no longer their meal ticket, right? Whatever you can conceive and you're willing to achieve, you will receive. So I want to share something with you about my early times in the insurance industry here just for a minute as we close this video out. Make sure you watch to the end. If I can help you, my email is in the, in, is in the description. So is my phone number. Text me, email me, or call me. So let me just share something for just one second and get a little personal with you. You know, I don't know about you, but I know what it's like to be broke. I have been there when I was first starting out my career with uh, the New England years ago in Pasadena. I was up in Northern California commuting back and forth, ran out of money. Was, was, we had no leads. That's why it's so powerful being a leads-based sales opportunity. We did it with a phone book, knocking on doors, calling old case files. I had me and my family, my two kids, in sleeping bags in a utility trailer. Not a camper, not an RV. A utility, like a four walls and a floor, that's what it was. We were completely homeless in a KOA park. As I traveled back and forth, they were making the sacrifices to live in that KOA park until I got my, my feet underneath me in the insurance business. So... Uh, that was very early in my insurance career. So I don't, I don't have a choice. You know, we're blessed. We do very well. We've got a great team here. I don't have a choice when given a shot and given an opportunity to change. Look, I, I'm comfortable. I could do this the rest of my life at my level and enjoy my life and enjoy working with our team and growing our agency. But I'm talking about legacy here. When it comes to legacy, I don't have a choice but to do everything I possibly can for my family so when I'm gone, it passes to them and their lives are dramatically changed. When you're given an opportunity to step out of your comfort zone and do something just a little bit more to change the lives of your loved ones, I don't think you have a choice. You, it is an obligation to make more money and to take advantage of that shot and take it and, and give it all I got because my family deserves it. That's where I'm coming from here. 